Okay, welcome everybody to uh, my presentation. I'm hoping, uh, first off, does anybody here have a pet? Um, not a cat and a dog, I'm talking about the computer. Yes? If you are, you're in the right, you're in the right presentation. Thank you for coming. Um, today we're going to talk about a, the board, which I call the Pet Companion. And um, a bit about myself. My name is uh, Rudy Panagas. I run a YouTube channel called Rudy's Retro Intel, where I do... Um, different uh, topics, in-depth topics on the Commodore products like the, 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 uh, sorry, the Commodore 64, VIC-20, the PET. I also do other vintage computers, which you guys probably don't like, like the Apple II, 2E, uh, K-Pro, Atari's other computers. I just like any, I, yes, oh, K-Pro fan, oh, K-Pro in the house. <laughs> um, I like anything that's 8 bits, so I'm not just, you know, pro one or the other. I really enjoy all the different uh, technologies because back in the day, you know, they, these computers were prices of cars. So you couldn't buy a Commodore uh, VIC 20 and then buy a 64 and a 128 and an Apple 2GS and a Macintosh. And I mean, if you're rich, you could, but the majority of people couldn't do that. So you're kind of like stuck. But now, we can go back and you know purchase these things and play with them and say, oh, so this was like to have this wicked game on the 64 back then. You know, like wow, this is pretty cool. So um, I've uh, worked in the doing retro stuff since the uh, 80s. Um, back in 1980, I was 15. I started doing my first uh, repairs on Apple II Plus clones uh, and clone computers. Um, some pet work, not a whole lot, because uh, they just they just work. Um, so my show, I do, you know, different things on there. I build uh, boards. I've built um, a, a board called a Tiny Comp, and that allows you to convert RF signals into composite. So if you have a computer like, let me see, the Timex Sinclair, for example, there's only RF out. There's no composite. Well, you can get this board, pop it, a tiny thing. It's the size of your nail, actually. You pop that in, and then you can actually wire it up, and now you have composite out. So I've designed that. Um, I've designed the comp, the uh, pet companion we'll talk about in a minute. And my first computer I actually laid fingers on was a pet 4016, which is actually similar to the one I have uh, outside on the table. So what is the pet companion? Mm -hmm. well, I don't know. I thought I'd ask you guys. Do you guys know? Um, so the pet companion, um, what it does is it provides a composite out. It provides audio out. Um, RGB to HDMI, so with uh, an adapter, you can actually plug in to this board and get uh, connections to your RGB to HDMI monitor or projector or whatever else that has that. Um, um, I use it for uh, pet diagnostics. So actually, I have a video on that where you can actually, I pull the board out of the pet, right? And I run power from it, but I got no video because the cable isn't long enough and I don't want to be turning on and off a 40-year-old plus monitor and breaking it. So this board, you can plug into it, and then I can get video so I can do diagnostics and repairs. And I can see, is it working? Without having to go back in the pad, throw everything down, lift up the hood at three, 300 pounds, you know, bang it on your head, whatever. I can just work on it, and then it's good. When it's done, I put it back in. And then when I'm done, I actually use my board because I have audio out. I play games, and I get sound out of it. And if I want to really go crazy, I just put it on a on a uh, uh, projector and, you know, have, you know, the space invaders this big kind of thing, you know, like it's massive, it's a lot of fun. Um, it, it has a plug for the uh, user port, so this is a connector that goes the user port. Um, all that is is for five volts because the TTL logic that runs the the composite out por uh, portion needs five volts and on the parallel slash user port, there's no five volts, so you gotta tap it off the tape port. However, my board has a pass through so you can plug in another uh, device like for example I have the pet SD card I also have the pet what's it called now the pet max 2 uh, mm -hmm. from bit uh, bit fixer uh, he has the same idea it's where you can just plug it into your uh, to your um, actually port and you have an SD card you can load games and programs whatever so that requires a tap and that can tap off the back of this unit here so you can run both things at the same time any questions so far? No? Good. Um, so it took me a year to build this thing. I did some research. I'm just putting up. This is a, the diagram actually from uh, the original book by uh, Nick Hampshire. Uh, it's called The Pet Revealed. 
uh, written in 1979 and updated 1980. So I took that design and, you know, you can see I'm just pouring around with some, trying to figure out what is what. And I put the board together and this is what happens. Like, yay, I'm getting some crappy picture. Yay, look, it's like, uh, you know, back in the day, I used to get really bad HBO signals. But um, yeah, so it didn't work right away. So, you know, fooling around with it, I built, this is my app, my board, which I forgot to bring. It's a little, like a, 3D kind of like picture frame has all the versions of the boards I've built. Oh my goodness, to get this all working because it's not just HDMI um, or um, composite out, there's audio out. And that came from when you start Space Invaders game at the very beginning, there's a splash screen about getting audio. Well, that's, I've incorporated that into here. Um, I made a version that had uh, joystick ports. Um, I took that out because I found out later that. Everyone's making games, but they're using different combinations for the fire button. So I was like, I'm not writing a 160-page manual just how to use a joystick on this thing. It's like, no. Now we're going beyond the scope of this project. So I built a couple of boards, and then I finally got it working. So that's what we have today. Um, and yeah, we see. We, I got it working. I have it. Uh, the screen is this. It's a little bit uh, off it's from the camera, the picture I took. But... I had it working on a both a nine inch pet, so like a 2001, or 2001 and a 4016, and it also works on the 4032, 8032, and super pets. So depending on which configuration, it'll work. So what's the difference between the two? Well, the nine inch pet is just, you just plug it in and it works. There's no need to do anything. The 12 inch pet's a little bit different. If you're just getting audio out, or you just want uh, RV HDMI out, works no problem. If you want to composite out, you have to replace a ROM on the 12-inch PET, so like the uh, 8032, 4032, Super PET, and that ROM will tell, give the signal a proper NTSC signal. The 9-inch PET produces a 15-kilohertz signal where the 12-inch PET produces a 20-kilohertz signal, so it's not really compatible. So if you plug it in, it's not going to work. You're going to get like the first picture I showed before, which is and um, here's just a picture from a video I made. This is a four, this is my 4032. Um, the sc I had a problem with the screen that was wiggling. After a while, it was like it was going like this. Like, have I been drinking too much, or is this pet moving? And it wasn't me; it was just drinking water. So um, I did a video on it, and it was this circuitry in here, just this IC that needs to be pulled out, cleaned with the oxid, and then put back and fixed it. However, I brought this up because I want to show down. This is the this is the 12-inch PET board, and here is the new edit ROM that I put in. This is also available on my GitHub page, so if you want to, if you're looking at getting this board, it's all there, the manual, this EEPROM you'll have to burn. And it's the board I have here now. This board is the two previous one I have today. It doesn't have the um, RGB HDMI out, but it's the same, it's the same board. And we have, I have it connected to this uh, external monitor, and that's working fine. So the beauty of this, like, for me, this project wasn't made for you guys. This was made for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> when I was doing repairs, I was getting tired of like I was saying, you know, back and forth. This I just put on the bench. I can do all the measurements, get my scope, get my multimeter, do whatever I want to do. If I want to pull a chip out, I can do it and test it right away. I just plug the board in and make sure I remove the standoff so it's not standing up. So it's sitting flush and off you go. And here is just a quick uh, demo. Let's see, do I have any sound on this? Yeah, it's going to come up. So what I'm showing here is just the board in action. It's a less than a minute video. So it's running on the composite connection there. And here's the LCD with RGB HDMI. And on the table, there's actually a big, large uh, speaker I have. Um, the kit and the board comes with an adapter that allows you to plug in the 3.5 millimeter jack into it. Here, I'm, using the, I'm just using the RCA jacks for audio. Okay, you get the picture. That's enough of that. Um, so now that everyone's awake, the mutual was nice and loud, the music, um, I want to thank a few people along the way. Um, 
Big thanks first is to David Bradley back there, the eight-bit Commodore, the eight-bit Commodore man. He is definitely the eight-bit Commodore man. Um, David has been helping me and and pushing me and work and helping me test uh, my prototype boards from day one, which is a year ago. Uh, Dave has, as far as I know, the largest collection of pets, so he can test everything, and he's been really good and give me feedback and so on and so forth. Uh, the next person is uh, Sean with Geek with Social Skills. I'm putting down their their uh, YouTube uh, channels. Uh, Sean's been great. He's been helping me with the manual and other aspects of it. Um, he actually was able to introduce me to a best friend of his, a good friend of his, uh, Adrian from Adrian Digital Basement. I don't know if you guys know that channel. Um, Adrian, uh, I, I sent the original the pre board to both Sean or Dave, Sean, and one for um, Adrian. Agent thought, well, this is a really cool board, but it'd be really cool if you had an RGB HDMI. I said, yes, okay, so let's do that. So that's how the board got that uh, additional component. So thank you to to Sean and to uh, Adrian. Um, next is Stephen Gray. Stephen Gray actually is the one who developed the the EEPROM, the, the, the programming for the EEPROM that will allow the 12-inch PET to work with um, composite out. Um, Next is uh, Chuck Hutchinson. He's did a fabulous job. He took the the kit. I sent him a kit. He built the kit. He went over to the documentation and uh, pointed out anything that was wrong with it. He actually made a video on assembling. So if you do buy a kit and you're not sure how to build it, just watch his video. He talks about building the kit and how it's used and limitations of the board. And he made an amend addendum to his video about some things that he made assumptions that were incorrect, but he corrected them. So that was very nice. And then we also have uh, Mike from Raven Wolf, another YouTube channel. Um, he was uh, uh, instrumental. He got the first board uh, for testing, uh, testing slash assembly. And he pointed out some things that maybe be a bit more advantageous to change this, you know, in the documentation for people who are, you know, want to assemble the board and have a question with the pictures and so on. So big thanks to him. So really big thanks to everybody. And uh, last but not least, I want to thank my wife. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, actually, I do. Um, uh, is the uh, World of Commodore and the TPO group for allowing me to come. This is my first year here. And for being so nice to me, allowing me to uh, do a presentation without charging me. So uh, this is great. So thanks, to everyone. Uh, and I hope you stick around for a few minutes. Um, that's basically the end of my presentation. So I want to make it short because there's not really a lot to talk about, but I want to keep it open for questions. So let's move on to that. Anybody? Well, first, thank you. I really appreciate you guys coming and taking a look and spending some time here. Are there any questions? Young man at the back. Yes, sir. I'm just curious. Uh, you have the one picture with uh, the red and white composite. I, I imagine one of those is like a mono signal and the other is like a Right. Yeah. One is, um, let's Oh, sorry. The question is the um, on the composite and uh, video. There was a red and a green uh, uh, cable. Yeah. Let me go back. Um, maybe this one's a good picture of it. So one is uh, composite and one is uh, audio. It doesn't really matter which color, as long as you match the colors properly. <laughs> what you're plugging into. The board is labeled on here. It says composite and audio. Um, all the components are also labeled on the front and the back. People think, well, why would you put labels on the back? Well, if you open up a pet monitor and you take it apart, I've done, I recapped mine, there's labels on the top and the bottom. I thought, well, this is kind of weird. Why would you want on the bottom? But when I need to look for a part, I need to look for C39. It's on the bottom. I don't have to go like this and try to figure, am I getting the right one? It's perfect. I thought, this is a fantastic idea. So I incorporated that. In the I know we're going beyond your question here, but um, that, that's on the bottom. And if you buy the assembled boards, they're very special. Um, I have a spool from 1983 of solder. So I used that solder to build these boards. So it's even solder period correct. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, sir. So what do these two connectors normally output? Uh, you mean on these the two? No, on the pet. Oh, this is the parallel port, user okay. port. So you can plug your printer. Um, there you can buy the... Uh, What's it called? The stupid Petrix. I hate that name. It's an adapter that plugs in the, into this port. That allows you get joystick ports. Um, I'm not sure what else people do with it. I know that the IEEE is in behind the screen here, but there's an IEEE port for your printer, uh, your drives, um, and this is for your your tape port. But that's pretty much it. But everything that's 
that's coming out of this uh, board is actually on this port. It's not like I have to run wires inside and do all kinds of weirdness. This is all stuff that's there. So I'm surprised that Commodore back in the day didn't actually make, you know, a port in the back of the unit for audio and, and video because the earlier pets don't have a, don't have a speaker. Like the, the, 80, the, the later models have this little tiny crappy speaker inside, this little pancake. But if you're doing that, I mean, why not put audio at uh, extended external, uh, at least comp as it out. Does that answer your question? Yeah. 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 Any other questions? So you can talk about the raw models and the air comps. So, so you only need that if you have a dimension not there than 12 inch? Correct. So, so the question. A smaller monitor, you do, not. you do not, right? So the question is the, uh, regarding the edit ROM that needs to be temporary, temporarily replaced. This is only required for a 12 inch pet. So that means like the 4032. The 8032, the, uh, what, I think the 42 is called a, the FAT32, Dave, is that correct? The FAT40. The FAT30, FAT40. Um, the so Super Pet. Pet. The Super Pet, yeah. And it's got a 12 inch screen. So in my documentation, I don't say these models, I say a 9 inch screen or a 12 inch screen. I don't differentiate between the models because it's the same thing that the larger screen puts out a signal that is not NTSC compatible and so this um, this ROM change actually will produce the proper signal that will output to here to get a video out if you if you use the original edit ROM you won't get you'll get garbage on the screen this won't work properly right um, on the nine inch pets so like the 2001 2001 and the 4016 I have outside doesn't have this problem because the monitor itself runs at 15 kilohertz so you just plug them to the back and you get all three in. And like I showed that demo that was running on a 40, 60, 9-inch pet. Um, the table, if you walk in the door on the on the left, first table, I have a demo on there. It's running the all three, well, audio and two video connections. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yep. Good. Anyone else? No? So I guess we're done? No, 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 no. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. Oh, I caught somebody. Yes. Um, can I get um, three volunteers up front? There's going to be a little bit of a surprise happening that people don't know about. <laughs> no volunteers? You want to be a volunteer? Sure, come on up. Yay. We got one. Two more? One more. Yay. No electric shock therapy. Yeah. OK, one more. Excellent. Three. We got three. Perfect. These are randomly picked by a pet computer. <laughs> All right, so there's going to be a giveaway. I'm giving away an assembled board. Hey, hey, no, no giving secrets. <laughs> um, so what we, I need your help. What we're going to do is ask questions, and whoever gets the most right is going to win the uh, a pet companion board that's oh. fully assembled and tested and working. So if you have a pet, great. If you don't have one, you can give it to someone who has one. If they have a dog and a cat, they're not compatible. Okay, just <laughs> make sure you're clear. Okay, so the first question, uh, your name is? Sorry? Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Kim? And Ian. Ian. And I'm Rudy. And you, are, you, you know who you are. So the first question is for you. What is what does the word pet stand for? Uh, I know the E is education. Is it not? No. Oh. It's close. Okay. Personal. Personal educational. No. No. no I don't okay. Go ahead. You know what the answer is? Personal electronic transaction. That's correct. Is that correct? Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh. Ian, um, how do you spell pet backwards? D -D. Oh, sorry. Too slow. No. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to go back to you. The next question. The best what? software ever on a pet? No, no, that's, that's easy. That's, that's base and data. We know. Um, what, what is the, we're at the World of Commodore 2023. What anniversary is it? Of, of, of the World of, of Commodore. It's the 40th. That's correct. Wow. As opposed to science says 30, but we still love that science. Awesome. Um, next question. Do you own a pet? No, not right now. Oh, that's a bad answer. But that's that's okay. You used to. That's good. Um, and can anybody help me with a question? I'm running out of questions here. They're all getting. They're, they're being too smart up here. Anybody have a question? They no. When did the first pet come out? Oh, pet come out? That's a good question. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Seventy-seven. What what hour? <laughs> no, okay. Um, oh, you have a question? Yeah. yeah. When did the last pet? Come when did the last pet come out? It's your turn. The last uh, pet. Um, thinking around 85. Is that correct? No, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know too. It's like, oh, this is cool. I'm, I'm getting educated. The here. best educational software on the pet ever is Lemonade Stand. Yeah, Definitely. Absolutely. It's also the best on the Apple II Plus. 
Um, I can't yeah, talk that, to that. I still. can because I have all, all those machines. So I don't know. I think we're getting into a bit of a tie, but who do you think? You, I want everybody clapping. Can I ask a you can't. Do you have a pet? No. I do not. You do not have a pet. You have a pet. I don't. So None we will give pets. it to someone. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that makes it. You have to all sit down then. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So what I'm going to do is it's going to be kind of a bit of a tie. So we'll do on clapping. Whoever gets the loudest claps gets the first prize. <laughs> so okay, that's the number one. Okay, number two. Uh, number three. Uh, you might be hard here. All right. Okay, as per as per the what do I have here? By popular demand. By popular demand. Oh geez. I have this is the assembled unit. Yes. You will get the assembled unit. Yay! And because you guys are so much fun, you both get kits. Yay! Yay! Thank you very much. So enjoy it. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And thank you everybody for coming. If you have any more questions, concerns, or you know, you want to donate your Commodore pet to me, just come see me at the table on the corner. Thanks again. Well done. Well done.